Hey everyone out there, I'm Greg and we're with Josh and Josh and this is the little thing we call Stuck in Beta. How you doing guys? I'm doing great, Greg. Same here. So, you were just mentioning, lip, <coughs> lip, lip, to, lip in, uh, mouthing to me. That whoa, that's, whoa. Uh, <laughs> is that some old beer you have? So I, I thought you I, said it was good beer. That's why I was no, shaking my head because no, you don't know what good no. beer is. I, every time I come over here, I'm trying to like help Greg clean out his collection because he has the probably one of the most impressive beer collections of undrank beer that I have ever seen in my life. I can't drink it Hands all. Hands down. And, yeah, you can't drink it all. That's the problem. So there's always this beer that sits around for a long time. And this is Goose Island Ten, Hill, Ten Hills Pale Ale. I know it had been in here for a while, but I didn't know how long. Bottled on... This is an IPA. It should be drank pretty quickly. Bottled on June 30th of 2015. Oh, well, there you go. It, it's over a year. So, hey, uh, so... Uh, you could say thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Greg. There's for a beer this. for you. I, I could, I could I, you know, going back to the older uh, episodes, my lack of flavor or taste buds. Lack this, of flavor. Yeah, lack of taste buds. <laughs> this, one, this one tastes a little off. So it probably tastes like dog poop <laughs> to you guys. Yeah. Really. Well, uh, we're actually live this week. Uh, last week, I was in Florida. Oh, okay. You guys do anything while I was gone? Worked. Um, work, I did a work, few work, things, work, but work, we'll work. let you get into your... Uh, right. Oh, yeah, because Greg's. this is Greg's show. <laughs> I... <laughs> this is Greg's episode. I, I just have a lot of stuff that I did. Um... I went to Panama City Beach, Florida. Uh, see, Florida? Yeah. PCB. PCB. Uh, we went there, and uh, we actually stopped halfway in Huntsville and went to the Space and Rocket Center. I've always that, wanted to go there. It's pretty cool. It's where uh, they, uh, Space Camp is. I know, uh, I remember a friend of mine, uh, well, Josh remembers David Madison. Yeah. yeah, I do remember. Like I remember in a yearbook, seventh grade or yep. something, he went to Space Camp. And I was like, man, he had the, how does uh, anyone do that? He had the suit on, right? Yeah. yeah. And I think it's just like a one-day thing. I don't think it's like a whole camp camp. Yeah, yeah. camp camp. But anyway, that was that was fun looking at uh, seeing all the rockets, watching the videos on NASA. Um, you know, the, they have all the IMAX movies that you watch. You have to watch them on IMAX? Well, they were they were in a, in one of the dome. Oh, IMAX. I thought you said IMAX, like the Apple device IMAX. No, no, <laughs> IMAX. Oh, okay. Not yeah, you know what I mean. So while I was in Huntsville, I went to a place called Stri Straight to Ale. Uh, that's a brewery in uh, Huntsville, and a lot of their beers are actually named after um, rockets and oh, that's cool stuff like that. There, there's another. Uh, there's a couple breweries that they kind. Of, out there that they all name their stuff after different space I would stuff. Is know? it one of the, lar I guess, larger employers in the Huntsville, Alabama area? Uh, I or don't know, because it seemed more of a touristy type well, thing. It didn't, there's the rockets to look at. There's a little ride where you drop up and down. There's. I have a friend that lives in Huntsville, and she worked, she's an IT person. She was working for a subcontractor that contracted with NASA there in Huntsville. So they they must have some sort of footprint of something there. So they, I'm assuming they have more than just the little tourist trap. Yeah, exactly. Is it on the coast? No, Huntsville. No, that's like in Huntsville, in Alabama. It's basically on the border between uh, Kentucky hmm. and yeah. Uh, it's northern Alabama. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. What? Is, I'm sorry. What is it that it's on the coast? Cape Canaveral or that's something? In Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cape Canaveral. That's yeah. And then Houston has. Oh, Houston yeah. Control. Right. Okay. Yeah. Houston, we have a problem. But we were told, like one of one of our one of our friends, when we went out there to go visit this place called the Unclaimed Bagu Baggage Center, which is near Huntsville. It's probably about forty minutes out. Do you hear like a yes. popping? I don't know. Every once in a while, it's driving me crazy. Uh, yep, it's you. It's Greg. Hey, hey, it's our the, show the now. The one so time that Greg finally. is not so damn loud. <laughs> We've got so much to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Is it gone? Yeah. Okay, I think uh, it's gone. Yeah. Sorry. Why do you turn your fader all the way up? I, I'm sorry. Dead. This show. Yeah, well. Continue. 
So anyway, this unclaimed oh, baggage. Oh, there's a shot. shot. That's already like the third oh. time. I, it's so. useless. <laughs> unclaimed baggage center. It's a place where apparently all the bags that, that are unclaimed, unclaimed <laughs> at airports go here, and they sell the stuff for a discounted rate. Well, they don't know real world prices of stuff because they had a bunch. I mean, they had tons. So, like, I, they unpack the bag and then sell the stuff out of the bag? Right. They, okay. Right. Okay. It's, it's like a Goodwill. Yeah. It's like a Goodwill. A sure. Bu- bunch of clothes. Yeah, okay? mostly clothes, I would assume. Mostly clothes. Yeah, I bet you find some weird stuff, though. Yeah. But there's there's an electronic section. You have a bunch of tablets, iPads, you know, all the... But they're so freaking expensive. Really? You know? I, I, I mean, a laptop that is, you know, four years old... Does not cost five hundred dollars. Wow! Know? Wow! Uh, so here, there, they think they, it does. Here would be the interesting question, though: If you buy an iPad from them or an iDevice, the way Apple has their theft deterrent software turned on, how how would that work? Yeah, I'm, I'm because curious my, about that. my account for this iPad it got all screwed up. Apple more or less when I called the help center to have it re-enabled. Apple more or less thought I stole or could, wouldn't turn it back on because they said I could not prove that I owned this iPad. I, I've had that same issue uh, at work. I work with a lot of iPads. And uh, if you don't have that iCloud account or the yeah. account that you logged in with, yeah. it, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. You know? Unless you have your original receipt proving that you bought the device. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. Assholes. But uh, uh, Explicit. Like you guys don't say it. I, I never do. Yeah. I don't. So uh, one thing about the trip down to Panama City Beach, I'm used to driving out to, well, used to. We drive out to Orlando a lot to go to Disney. And uh, the last time we went, when we went to Gulf Shores, I mean, that's that's a couple hours uh, west. But uh, you really go through some back roads of yeah. Alabama. And you feel like uh, there's banjos playing. Yeah, banjos playing because all you see are farmland, cows, chickens, chickens, d- ducks, you, 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 goats. You're like, okay, am I going to see the scene from Texas Chainsaw Massacre here? Because it is, it, it's a lot of back roads, and I, I think it was probably the last two hours of our trip were like on that. Uh, where you're like a quarter of a tank, you're like, man, I I probably need to get gas soon, you know. And there's no, there's no. This is not interstate. This is like no, two lane road. It's like County Road 47, oh, wow. and that Google likes to take you through the fun yeah, path. Yeah, for sure. But really, there is. If you look, you have to go all the way to Mobile to actually go uh, over a major highway. Yeah, yeah. And it adds like two hours to your. To your trip, Did you wow. cut over at like Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and cut through. No, you no, went we over to Huntsville. Go, yeah. yeah, we were because we went. It wasn't until because we passed through Birmingham too, and then uh, it wasn't until we got further south in Alabama where we started hitting all these country roads. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a little interesting. I luckily it was all daylight when we walked through. Let me just say you it walked. That way. <laughs> well, we walked, walked through. The whole yeah, way? we walked wow. through. Damn, you know it's a long trip. Your steps on your on your step counter must have been high. So, I really don't know how much you want me to, because it was a big trip, you know. Uh, um, why are you looking at each other? I don't know. I mean, we so we got the Panama City six beach. Six minutes in, we're oh, just that. we're just over here drinking beer. It's okay. Yeah. God, I keep forgetting to do this. I need to flip this to the. Why don't one of you tell me? Oh, hey, hey, sorry. We need a producer. Anybody who's interested, producer. send your resume. If someone wants to produce this show, it would we, help. We pay with one beer a week. Well, uh, we get two. Yeah, they okay. could even get two. Yeah, that's you fine. Know, right now, we could probably afford to get rid of three. You'd have to, <laughs> you'd have to drink uh, a couple of crap beers, though, but one one quality beer. Wow, that's actually a pretty good deal. You know, that is, yeah. For an alcoholic, that's a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> Three yeah. beers in an hour. Well, yeah. there's some setup time, I guess. Yeah, you got just got to push a couple buttons. But, uh, yeah. Uh, push Greg's buttons. Yeah. Uh, l- let us know on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet us. So, hey, uh, what else about my trip? We went down to Panama City Beach. The beach is beautiful. Whoa. Uh, whoa. I popped. Okay, it stopped. 
Uh, my arms swing and I hit the cord. Sorry. The beach is beautiful. Uh, our condo was right. I went down with Molly, my fiance. Oh. You were about ready to. Ask. Yeah, I was too. Thank you for uh, clearing with that her up. Uh, family. We were at a four bedroom condo, and uh, we our our deck out it overlooked the beach. I mean, we were right <clears throat> there. It was really nice. Um, we got to, we went to the beach obviously about every day because Panama City Beach, uh, they don't have much to do except the beach. You know, that's about it. There's, uh, we did some mini golf and all that, but we did, uh, hit Wayback Burger, which is not here. I I'll, remember seeing that, uh, picture, that post that you had. Yeah, I was excited to go there b because I had just found out that I, at a Ghostbusters <laughs> promotion, they had like a burger with ghost pepper cheese or ghost Ooh. pepper sauce. Wow. And then they had uh, these uh, fried macaroni macaroni and cheese bites that you dip in uh, ghost pepper sauce too. And then they had a... Uh, that had to be really hot. It was freaking hot. I couldn't finish the whole thing. It was wow. tearing at my stomach. It was good, <laughs> but okay. Like, like the nacho. Was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll get to that story. Okay. But, yeah, and then they g gave you a Stay Puff Slimer milkshake or whatever, which was really good. It, it was like a vanilla milkshake, van like a marshmallow milkshake with, like, key lime sauce or whatever that would be the slime or whatever. And it was, it was really good. So they had other things, too, like other themes or... Why is it called Wayback Burger? Yeah. Uh, I really don't know. They had a lot of... You didn't of ask to interview them? No. Yes, I I actually uh, asked, and they declined to interview. No, I'm like, I'm with a podcast here in St. Louis. Uh, we we don't have a, a location in St. Louis. We're not interested. Wow. Wow, snobs. Yeah. Hmm. Did you tell them who you were? Yeah. I You know, I go, I'm Greg Bushel. <laughs> Recognize. <laughs> so. so you went to Whataburger? I did that, <laughs> Was that um, that was on the way back? That's in Alabama. Yeah, I actually have been to Whataburger a couple times. Oh, have, have you, you been, been, Josh? No, I have not. So they're um, they're special. They've been around for what, like a hundred plus years or something? It's a crazy amount of time, right? Uh, Maybe it's. Not I, I don't that know. Long. I, I don't thought know. it was. I Great thought on the cup it said since 1960s. He just oh, had, he just okay. Had a burger. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't. Well, ask yeah, any questions. He, he had. Yeah, you're right. I remember their burgers just uh, mustard, right? mustard on yeah, the burger. You, well, it's kind of like Sonic. You get mustard, you get ketchup, or you can get mayonnaise. Hmm. You, you get, can't do the three together? It's one or nothing? Apparently not. This, huh. That's a style you, you yeah. ask for. And if you don't say anything, they give you mustard. But yeah, their 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 burgers are it's a, and it was mustard and pickle, right? I think mustard that's and a, pickle. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're known for. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. And uh did uh the ketchup, they have a spicy ketchup yep. too there, and it's really awesome. Yeah. It's a good good place. Yep. I uh, suggest it to anyone who wants to eat a burger. I don't know if he's hungry or tired or bored. Oh, I've just he's, had he's bored beers already. <laughs> uh, Stir up trouble. So other things that happened, obviously I got a ton of beer. Uh, you did get a ton get of a, beer. You did get a lot of I, beer. I said beer. No, I You're see. always looking for somebody to slip up and make a mistake. I, am. I That's said what beer. I do. It's what I do. Uh, yeah, I I kind of overdid it, but you got a picture <laughs> of all that. I do somewhere. Uh, if it's worth doing. It's worth overdoing. Yeah. Uh, here it is. Uh, here's some beer. There's. I even picked up some oh, Yingling. Oh no, Oktoberfest you, Yingling. You brought back some Yingling. Like I don't like Yingling, the no, regular, it, but uh, that's Oktoberfest. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, that's different. Crab ass. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I picked up. There is uh, this place called Wish You Were Beer in uh, Whoa. Alabama, and uh, that's yeah, a lot of beer. Yeah, I picked up a lot. So I got Man. a lot of samplers. A lot of uh, I, I'm like, uh, I might as well try it. You know. How much did you spend on all this beer? Uh, you don't want to know. No, I do want to know. I don't know. You've uh, had the you highlight before. You liar. How much? Yeah, did you the highlight is good. That is a great beer. How, how much money did you spend? I really on don't know. I'm embarrassed. I to bet say. Molly knows. I'm sure she does. And uh, let's just say, 
I buy drinkable souvenirs, all right? <laughs> you know? Yeah, but sometimes you don't get around to them. For years. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, and then you're like, oh, I remember getting yeah. this. And then you're like, where the hell did I get this from? <laughs> <laughs> That's usually what happens. And uh, on my way back, I wanted some Yazoo beer because I, I liked what Yazoo had. And they only sell in Tennessee. Huh. So I stopped at Tennessee, you know, on the way home. Um, and apparently they'll let you load up your cart full of beer. And then when you go to the checkout, they're like, oh, I'm sorry. You're in a different County where you can't buy beer until after, uh, noon here. But oh. if you go over to this County, you could get it at 10. I'm like two hours. Really? Wow, two hours. Wow. And it was, so, it, so was it was a Sunday. It was a Sunday. The blue laws. But yep. uh, yeah, it used to be like that around here. Yeah, it did. I, yeah, I, yep. where you couldn't even sell it on Sunday. Right, yeah, they yeah. they yeah. chain out. But put yeah. a sign down the liquor aisle that says, "Hey, you're not going to be able." To, then I wouldn't even yeah. bothered. Yeah. So jerks. I mean, that's basically. Uh, I know I'm forgetting a lot, but that's that's a lot of what my trip was. A you lot had of family food. family pictures. Family then. pictures. Yeah, I did that on the turned beach at sunset. Turned out really nice. well. Um, she suggested a really good place called Runaway Grill. So, uh, if you're in Panama City Beach, check out Runaway Grill. It's a uh, very good Are they uh, sponsoring this seafood? section or something. Yeah, they 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 were ones way back. Burger, screw them. <laughs> Runaway Grill. They're like here, here's some money. Put you, you know, uh, so give an advertisement. Do we have a we have a split of this money? No, you're drinking some of the beer. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll trade. That's fine. That's fine. So, so is, uh, that all, is that uh, your 18-minute monologue over? My 18 mon- <laughs> Sounds like a great time, Greg. So moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh, what did we do while Greg was away? Oh, well, we, we attended Brewfest. We did, and it was it was a really good time. You know, he re- Sounds great. What else uh, do we have? <laughs> Darren, that, Darren really lucked out because, man, it poured its ass ass off that friday night it was yeah awful. it was like thursday and friday yeah right? it was awful i think somebody said we had like six inches of rain yeah. over that period yep. it was horrible so they moved it i don't know if we told you yeah to the parking lot instead of the no they moved it to the ball fields where the sidewalks were so people were walking on the sidewalks rather than in in mud and grass oh, and stuff okay. it it turned out really good um, he had a ton of breweries there, stuff I had never had before. Yeah, and it was, I think it was a little more, um, it was uh, a little bit tighter. Condensed and yeah. tighter, but that, that was kind of cool about it because it felt like everybody was right there and there it wasn't. Was shoulder to shoulder, yeah. that's for damn sure. Yeah, it was, it was neat. It was, it was a neat atmosphere. So we talked about this leading up to it, that the number of Illinois breweries that he was bringing in was higher. Or number of breweries total was higher, but he had a lot of breweries from Illinois. Yeah. I was very impressed with Peel Brewery. Yeah. And the story behind that, I don't know if you talked to them much, said they started out as a pizza shop oh, yeah. to begin with mm-hmm. and then went into beer after the fact. Yeah. They had really good beer. And then um, they were the ones that we were talking to early on, and they were inviting us to come out for that October Oktoberfest. Fest. Yeah. yeah that was, they had some good beer. And then they, there was another one. Was it Stubborn German Beer or Brewery out of, like, Belleville or O'Fallon? Yeah. There was one out of Alton. Yeah. Well, uh, that was Old Bakery Brewery. Okay. Yeah. They have good beer, too. Anyway, great time. And they had the pavilion over there, the concession stand open. They were selling food <laughs> food. <laughs> oh, yeah. out of the concession stand. Oh, I heard something about nachos. What's that story Well, there about? were cheesy fries. They What else did they have? Do you remember? Th- I mean, just everything, basically. That the, Typical uh, concession a, stand. Yeah, it's a baseball field. Yeah. So he goes up and... No, I didn't go up. Oh. Annette went up. Okay. He gets this loaded nacho. And they were awesome. And I walked by Pulled it and I'm like pork, nachos, jalapenos, good shit. I dinner. just knew when you're when you're at a, a brew fest, beer fest, and you're walking around taking samples, I mean it just does things to your it, stomach. <laughs> well, we found that out after you, the first yes, year, you remember? Knew that four years ago. Yes. Craft beer you, gas. Oh my oh. god. So he goes up and gets these nachos and I look at him I'm like, that's not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I, I think my exact words were, that's going to be diarrhea later. <laughs> I don't know that you said diarrhea, but you I said, said you're going to be in the bathroom. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So things were fine. 
things were fine for for we walked around 30 minutes 45 minutes socialized saw a bunch of friends they only have johnny's out there too no they had bath the concession oh, okay. bathrooms. they were open until or the the, the they went on until 4 p.m it was 12 to 4 right around three i'm yep. looking at you you're not looking so good yep uh-huh. And I'm having a good time. I'm, I, yeah, I'm still talking at this point. Yeah, you're still coherent. It, <laughs> yeah, I'm still. No, coherent. we weren't. We weren't anywhere. No, near we that. weren't nowhere near as bad as year one and two. No. And he just finally says, "I gotta go." <laughs> <laughs> I, and he kind of rubbed his stomach. Yeah, my <laughs> belly was bothering me bad. I made a couple trips to the bathroom. Won't, won't a indulge. couple. Yeah, it. I mean, like back to back to back trips. It was rough. <laughs> And I finally, I'm like, we have to go. We got to go now. There's, there's no waiting. I need home base. Yeah, I, I need I need home territory here. Yeah, the rest of the evening, he's sending me messages. Oh, it was awful. I should have listened to you. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I don't know if it's the jalapenos. I don't eat jalapenos often, but my God. Well, the funny thing is, is after all was said and done, whenever he was eating them and after all the remarks I made... Your wife got them, didn't yeah, she? Lori goes up there yeah. and gets it. Oh, that looks good. She goes up there and gets it, and she was going around drinking just as much as yeah, I was. Yeah, she was. She has an iron stomach, though. She had no problems Oh, at all. man. She's a bigger man than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. hurt. I mean, ring of fire. Whew, buddy, oh, those jalapenos. Yeah, I stay away from it. Golly. So was there just like a... Uh, like. The concession stand was just a general concession, yeah. or yeah. Did, they didn't have yeah. any big restaurants up there. No. no, it was the lady that runs it normally for the baseball games down oh, there. Okay, she was, Dar- it, somebody Darren works with. Yeah, because sometimes, a uh, few times, hasn't it, uh, Tanglefoot or I not Tanglefoot? The first uh, year, uh, Tatros. Tatros. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the first year. Oh, it was just the first year. It turned out really, really good though. The yep. weather was perfect. It, it was, was probably beautiful. the one of the nicest days yeah. we've had. I'm sure you brought a bunch of growlers back with you, too. Yeah. 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 We drank them. Yeah. yeah. Um, but one thing I was going to point out to you guys, and this was after you had to leave, and it, this seems to happen to me every year. I don't know if it's because I've had you know enough samplings that I'm feeling really good that I start talking a little bit more. You end up in somebody else's car? No. No. Oh. But um, I uh, started talking to the guys from Bastard Brothers. I don't know if you, I don't know if you no, tried I don't, anything I don't know there. that I did. They're uh, really local here. They're from High Ridge, and I never even—I don't think I had heard of them before. I remember I thought Darren they were from Darren Eureka. talked about them. High Ridge. Oh, okay. You're yeah. wrong, Greg. It's High Ridge. Okay. Yeah, Dar- Darren was talking about them a little bit, but I didn't really. He, I think he may have actually said House Springs. Um, same, same. Yeah, difference. same, same like kind of area. area. But yeah. at, the, at the time, I was like, really, I didn't know there was anything out that way. Huh. And um, really, really, really nice guy. Um, uh, he, what was his name? I think his name was Kyle. <laughs> You're such a ass. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. Um, but he invited us to come out and take a look, and they're just kind of j- just starting out. Um, they have their license and everything? They're not able to sell, but they can okay. give away all they want. Oh, they, they have a tap room? Uh, I guess so, because he says they got a room. You can come on in and... So I wonder, uh, there's one down in, um, uh, St. Chen or Farmington, that there's a, I can't remember the name of the place. Deloge Town, was that it? Remember where they had their tap their tap room and they were able to have guest taps, but they couldn't sell their own yet. No, that wasn't. Yeah, that. it's not Deloge Town. Yeah, I couldn't remember what that was. Have you but been to Deloge Town? I have been to Deloge okay. Town, but uh, yeah, these guys were really nice and they actually won uh, Brewer's Choice for their lager. Which was really good, and you don't really find loggers. Yeah, no, at the, not at in Blue crafts Blue. anyway. It was it was really good, and um, so they won Brewers Choice for that, and they were they were pretty excited. I mean, being uh, obviously like a rookie yeah, brewer and everything. That's awesome. And I think it was kind of a family type thing. It was father and son, and um, it was it was neat. It was it was neat to see them kind of starting out that way, and um, they were really nice to talk to. And they, like I said, they invited us out there. They, like, huh. come on out, we can give you, a, we'll get we'll give you a tour, and we'll. We'll bring the equipment out. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd that be sounds fun. like another podcast. Yeah, I gotta get another mic then. Huh? Is it like uh, one guy, or is it, you said a family? It looked like it was a family. He said it was him and his dad, and then and, and okay. he was he looked like he was probably like uh, I don't know, late twenties, not as old like as that. you two then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that. That sounds like a good time. It was a good time. Is that our portion of the show? You cut yeah. us off? No, I, I wasn't. I had a question, but you what's know. your question? 
I can't remember. <laughs> you were going to talk about football oh, Jesus. with your uh, your southern trip. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now, he's been to the south once, so now he's going to be all about I college know. football. Yee-haw! Alabama, roll tide, yeah. Roll tide, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't Why'd have Why'd you say yeehaw? <laughs> I don't that's know. It's Texas, isn't it? <laughs> oh. I anyway. That's a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I think we're shot, like shot, five. Shot, yeah. shot. So most. Whoa, most, that would have been bad. Da- here in St. Louis, it's kind of a. <laughs> sad. Sad. It, it's sad. It's awful. I am sad still. I watched that game Sunday rooting for the Seahawks to just beat the Rams ass, but that didn't happen. Uh, man, I'm I'm really sad about just not having that thing to do on Sundays. I know. And it's hard to watch the NFL for yeah. how they screwed us over. Yeah, right? I can't do it. And for when I was down, you know, it's it's not like I'm I'm an observer of some weird land or something. <laughs> I, you know, I just you were, went, in, you were in Alabama. I just yeah, I just went to a couple bars and brew pubs and whatever and uh, they, you know, they had the games on and and everyone is excited about Alabama. They're all excited about Florida. And uh, when you're in Tennessee, they're excited about them. You know, it's it's just such a, a different atmosphere. It's a different atmosphere, you know. Yeah. The Cal- I never really watch college football because, I mean, we have Mizzou out here. And uh, I don't know about, like, last uh, – this year they're not – that great you know they've been a great team but we're just we're kind of far removed from well i mean two hours yeah Yeah. it's not too far but i don't know that we've ever really had that close connection that they have down in the right unless you're an an alumni sure yeah but it it just seems like a like some fun teams to follow so where's your alabama flag now then yeah i I know roll tide roll Roll tide tide. (laughs) But, but you, you were saying you were you were gonna choose one of the four teams to yeah, start following. I, it was gonna be your Saturday your Saturday thing. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I say a I lot of see, things. But. I can see. Could you just imagine Greg? Come on over, watch Bama yeah. roll time. <laughs> Bama, Bama games on a three. Now, which do I look better in, orange or red? Yeah, because we have the vowels, which are orange. Oh my the Gators God. are orange. And- <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Come on over and watch Bama. Yeah. Oh, my god. Hey, you know what? Whatever. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. We like making fun of you. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, Mike uh, actually has said that he can send us some Hatch Chilies for Ooh. a podcast snack. I tell you what. Those Let's Hatch Chilies are golden, man. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're down for that. Yeah, send them over. Talk to Josh. Roasted. Uh, yeah, he's got my address. Yeah. Roasted Hatch Chilies, good stuff, man. You put those in some chili. They're hot. They're good. Sounds tasty. Um, so we can, can we get to, are we going to talk TV? We're halfway well, through the Well, you know show. what? Let's talk about beer because I brought home a lot of beer. Yeah, you what did. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Okay. I brought home some beer. Uh, this is one <laughs> of the... Like, We've already talked about the beer you brought home. Okay. I brought home uh, Black is the New Wit. For, uh, it's a uh, joint effort from Terrapin and New Belgian. I Terrapin Rye or Terrapins always had really good beer. I remember having their Terrapin Rye years and years ago before craft was really big. Yeah, it was good, man. It, Didn't somebody just buy Terrapin? I, for One some of the reason, big boys? I believe it may have been AB. Actually. I think it was, but uh, I don't know for sure. But they're from Athens, Georgia. I'm gonna hit up the Google. Uh, this quick. is a Wood Age Imperial Black Rye Wit Miller Spiced Coors. Ale. Miller bought Terrapin. Interesting. Sorry, that Greg. Is, that is a long, long. What? Did we you hear that? We weren't listening. Wood Aged Imperial Black Rye Wit Spiced Ale. Huh. This is a 7.4 percent. Ooh. We better call a cab to get out of here. Uh, you want me to read this? It says, showing their true colors of creativity, New Belgian and Terrapin have teamed up to bring you this extraordinary style of beer. Black is the new wit, gets its absence of color from intensely roasted wheat and dehusked roasted barley. Components of rye and both malted and unmalted wheat complete the mouthfeel, while coriander, orange peel, and sassafras wood aging gives the beer the distinct flavor. Cheers. Huh. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. So obviously it's a playoff. Uh, 
uh, orange is the new black. Oh, I was thinking something else. But oh, what were you thinking? I, well, I don't know. Some other phrase that comes to mind. You probably yell at me. So can we talk TV while you're pouring this? We have go for it. Let's see what was up first. Big Bang Monday night. Did you guys watch Big Bang season premiere? No. You didn't. Ah, Josh. I watched Next. it. What'd you think? Um, I I enjoyed it. Um. Uh, I mean, Big Bang's always pretty. Uh, we laughed quite a bit. Pretty good. The the whole white trash conversation between Katie. Segal. That was my favorite. Yeah, yeah that was definitely. Funny. Well, what kind of trash are we? Because <laughs> we've never seen Penny's parents. Oh, right. Well, no, Have we've we seen, seen the dad. Yeah, the dad was in like season one or two. So uh, that was fun to watch them because we've never the, seen the brother. Or <laughs> the mom. brother went to jail because he sold meth, and it and the guy from Thirty Rock, yeah. the goofy, uh, and he was uh, um, the guy on uh, Wreck It Ralph. That's what he with, was from. Jackson kept saying the Lego movie, and I didn't think that no, was right. I, I can't. Rem- it was Felix. Fix yeah, it, Felix. Fix it, Felix. There yeah. you go. But yeah, the, he he played. That's not. You would not have pictured him oh, as no. the meth-making addict that went to a, jail. He's such a goofball. Yeah, and very, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. And I, I liked, uh, you know, who, who knows if she'll be back much more. Katie Seagal does a lot of different cameos. Man, I'm telling you, Sons of Anarchy, when she stabbed... Uh, hey, shh, 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 shh. I thought you watched it. I did, but what do you want to spoil it for everyone? All our fans may just I'm leave. I'm sure our fans have. Yeah. That oh. ended years ago, didn't it? Yeah, but he just watched it recently on oh. Netflix. But she shoved that. Yeah. That oh yeah, that was pretty what's her uh, ass's crazy. Head. Man. Hmm. Um, what do you think about the beer? I, it's good. Yeah, very good. That sounds like one of my reviews. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you add the mouth feel is uh, very silky. The aroma. No, it's you know, not. I'm not getting any aroma off this though. Really? Not getting much of anything. I, I get a wood aged. I get a wood oaky smell. I mean, the taste is wonderful. You know. Yeah, I get a. Better. I don't get wit at all. Obviously. No, I don't either. You know, I think that's just a play on uh, the, uh, you know, play on words there. But uh, it says wit. It's just black rye wit spiced ale. So you know, I can kind of pull out that like. That sweet kind of sassafras uh, I taste. I tell you what sassafras tasted like. Well, I remember as a kid, we had that sassafras wood. I don't even remember where, it, you know, why it came about, but it was. It has such a strong odor. It's like a it's really sweet, right? sweet smell. They make tea, they out make tea out of it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, I can kind of pick up that flavor. Yeah, it's good. I I smell the barrel aged. I do smell. too. Yeah, I, do I don't. Too. I don't get that. Maybe my sniffers off. That's, I don't know. Oh, it's bigger than both of ours. I figured you would have got it. <laughs> Allergy season. Yeah, it is. You're right. You're right. So, uh, anybody watch the Emmys Monday night or Sunday night, whenever it was on? I watched a no. couple clips. And Did you see it. the interview with, uh, oh, hell, no, I can't think of her name. Female comedian on the red carpet. The popular female comedian. It's funny right when you're quiet, you could almost hear the crickets. I can hear the crickets. <laughs> um,. You know who I'm talking about. Tina Fey? No, not Tina Fey. The one that's been doing the Bud Light commercials with what's his name? Oh, Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Did you see the red carpet interview I with Amy not. Schumer? Yeah, she dropped a uh, rather too much information comment during the red carpet and had the interviewer like all flustered and embarrassed. What did she say? Well, it's pretty disgusting. Well, I won't say disgusting, but it's pretty... Amy Schumer talks tampons. Yeah, the, oh. the interviewer says, "Well, who are you wearing tonight?" And she names the person oh, who made her dress. Or whatever. And she goes, "And a big OB tampon." Like, uh, oh, yeah. Well, well, it could be. Painted. She's just. She's always been that just kind yeah. of just shock factor I don't, thing. Just, I don't appreciate that. I don't like that type of humor. Hmm. She comes from those <clears throat> uh, female <clears throat> comedians uh, that aren't funny. I don't really think but Tina Fey is that funny either. Well, know, okay. I'm here's here's the thing. Uh, I've heard this uh, by several several other people. They say that there's a lot of female comedians now that just uh, like talk about their parts, yeah. parts, you know, dirty stuff, and for shock value. Yeah. And 
I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a guy. Maybe that's why I don't find it hilarious. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But I know Molly doesn't think Amy Schumer is hilarious. No, I don't either. I'm, I tell you what, uh, that Ellen clip that you sent me of her and Britney Spears going through the mall a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. Ellen is Ellen's so funny. funny. Yeah. There, I mean, but that, uh, did you see that, Josh? The, I didn't have the sound up. That was hilarious. So you just watched uh, Britney walking around. Huh? No, that it was, was good enough for you. I don't remember why I didn't have the sound up. I, was, yeah. I watched it twice. <laughs> <laughs> with the sound off for <laughs> it was great it was pretty funny though yeah so did you guys know macgyver's coming back uh i've seen the commercials did you know I that not henry Rickler? right between all the charter <laughs> yeah spectrum commercials did you know henry winkler is the executive producer he was on uh the original was he really really how did you not know that i didn't know who that. knows that kind of stuff greg knows that kind of i know that kind stuff. of stuff <laughs> Because that's why you take Greg to Trivia Night. Yes, I do. Yeah, Henry Winkler was an executive producer on the original also. Mm. I did not know that. Well, anyway, the the lead guy on, I guess, MacGyver, the guy that plays MacGyver, looks like a 21-year-old kid. Yeah. He uh, doesn't have the mullet. like. No, uh, he doesn't. The picture I saw, though, he has pretty stupid hairdo. Well, unless it, yeah, unless it was just a, disheveled. I don't he know. has a dumb do. I mean, I'll, I heard yeah. sports clips did it. Yeah, I wouldn't. Hey, now, come on. Yeah. Hey, they're they're a sponsor. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry. Sports clips. Keep your sponsorship up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I'm gonna watch it. You know. Obviously. Oh, I will too. It's, really? Yeah. Because I'm interested in what's going It's what it's MacGyver. Be. Gosh, I just can't imagine devoting my time to that. You don't. What have else to do you do in the evening? I'm busy. The sex. We know. This is. <laughs> Glor- I do this on Wednesdays. Glory is so lucky. <laughs> you have had a lot to drink tonight. <laughs> uh, but no, I just, I was telling Greg before you got here, I was do- actually doing a little bit of research on this. Wait, wait I, I missed the research segment? Mm, the yeah, well, because <laughs> when you put all this information out here on TV, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I went out here and looked at Lethal Weapon and realized it was Damon Wayans. Is yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And MacGyver. He was and Homie the Clown, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> That's good did, stuff. Did you watch TV then? What? Did you watch TV then? Yeah, back then I did, yeah. It was right after The Simpsons. Was it? Or before? I, I thought it was before. Yeah. before. I don't know. What Sunday it. night. It was Sunday night. Sunday yeah. night at 8 o'clock, wasn't it? Between Simpsons is still on. Married with Children and Simpsons. God, Mary the... Could, Mary, uh, could you ahead. imagine seeing Living Color now? Oh, my like, God. If you go back and watch that... Because they have it on, I think it's like FX or something. And you watch those, it's like... Well, so I was just going to say the same thing about Married with Children. Yeah. That's... It's um, not funny. No, I think it's just so, like... Ext- oh, got an emergency phone call here. Oh, oh look out. Oh, it's only 5.30. Oh, do, we, do I have to turn on your mic? Um, hey, let's see if we can listen so, in. Put it on speaker. So, um... But were we, uh, no, that was my loyal listener wife. She thought we were done at five. <laughs> <laughs> done at five? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> no, so anyway. I was hey, say, drink. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, no, I don't have the anyway problem. You have the anyway problem. You just said it three times. No, I did not. <laughs> so, Married with Yellow Children. Flustered. We watch uh, TBS a lot because Big yeah. Bang is on reruns and on TBS. So nine times out of ten, we go to bed. The TV is on TBS when I turn the TV off. So in the morning, when Jackson wakes up and he's had breakfast and he's dressed and waiting to go to school, he'll turn the TV on, comes back on TBS. Yeah. Well, in the morning at 7 o'clock, apparently, Married with Children is on TBS. Yeah. So here's Jackson turning on the TV, and you have Ed Bundy sitting on the couch, grabbing Hands his in junk, his pants. talking to the daughter, saying stupid stuff and saying stupid. It's like, okay, changing the channel really quick. Yeah. Disney Channel, where are you? See, I remember uh, TBS <coughs> early in the morning when I was a kid. They had the Bugs Bunny and the Tom and Jerry on. See, we, I didn't have cable when I was a kid. Oh, well, this was... I just I just feel like those those two shows were extremely racy. Oh I mean, even God. you watch them now, I don't, yeah. know that there's, I don't know that there's anything as uh, extreme on TV. I yeah, don't know. That. No, I agree. Yeah, it's pretty... <clears throat> Pretty crazy. Pretty out there. For the time, anyway. Well, yeah, especially sure. on network TV. Yeah. Know? Yeah. 
Yeah, and it was during prime time. So a few while we're in our little TV segment, yeah, I just wanted to mention. Uh, uh, I watched his show called This Is Us last night. Because you're engaged now and you all about the feels. All about the feels. Uh, if any of you are fans of Parenthood, this is definitely a show for you. Hey, is anybody chatting? On- uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, sorry, Mike. Uh, he says uh, he'll, he'll give us the peppers, the chilies, but only if you... If you eat them at the beginning of the episode, oh jeez! Because uh, it'd be fun to see if you last I, without going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Mike is so nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all so about anyway, the feels. This is us. All about the feels, and and really has kind of a twist to it uh, when you watch it. You're like, oh my gosh, that's you're. It it's a really cool twist when you uh, watch the thing. So. I, I definitely recommend that. I also started watching Atlanta. It has Donald Glover. I don't know if either of you watched um, Community. Yeah, I like Community. Yeah, the um, I thought it was hilarious. I forgot his name on that. It's uh, well, it's it's it's, it's a black, black dude. dude. Yeah, on uh, but uh, he was pretty funny. Yeah. So this show is kind of has some funny, has some real like kind of serious he plays like a a single parent kind of still with his um baby mama or whatever you huh. want to call her and he's got a cousin who is a rapper called paper boy <laughs> and he wants to be the manager of of paper boy but you know his cousin sells drugs and gets into trouble and gets him into trouble and I don't know I actually kind of enjoyed it I it it started a little weird but then you found out where it was going and uh, it's only half hour episodes they're they're kind of uh, it's kind of like a dra- dramedy as as, as yeah. the kids would say or the TV networks or whatever but yeah pretty pretty uh, good show survivor hey, starts tonight survivor also starts 90 tonight. minute episode tonight yeah, and uh, this guy over in the far... J.E. J.E. has no interest. No, but you know what I do have kind of like is beer. a snack. Oh, And oh, we're yeah. 45 minutes into this Jeez. show. Well, Holy crap, Grace we have a snack. Cashews, almonds, macadamia nuts, my life, pecans too. Okay, uh, what do you have? It went silent. As he takes so, it yeah, um, in true Greg fashion, I'm, I've kept this a secret Swedish from fish the two Oreos. of you. No, I hope this is going to be tasty. So Greg and I were chatting earlier about um, not having a snack, and then I was joking that, you know, pumpkin spice is everywhere. That was on the Google Allo, the new messaging yeah. app. Oh, yeah, Google we didn't today. get into that. We can get into that if you'd like. Oh, we only um, have 15 So minutes. I went and I walked through. Cream pies. I found some. Uh, I really enjoy the oatmeal cream pies. Oh, yeah. From, uh, Little Debbie. And I found caramel apple oatmeal cream pies. Oh, caramel. Wow. We, all, we know Greg likes caramel apple. I like the caramel apple. I've actually got some caramel apple Beer. Hostess cupcakes upstairs. No, thanks, too. So, uh, no. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to like it or not. Uh, it looks like a regular uh, oatmeal hey, cream pie. I love the regular oatmeal cream I pies. Do, I do, too. They're one of my favorite Little Debbie. Eat a box of them. Right after uh, Swiss cake rolls, I think. Naturally and artificially flavored. Somebody talk. Hmm. You know what? These are pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> I, know, good. I know I've been drinking um, a couple beers. And uh, it's got that apple mm-hmm. filling that, uh, gosh, what is that? It's similar to something else. They have it in one of their. Is uh, it? Yeah. I okay. <clears throat> I don't really taste much caramel apple. I mean, I taste apple, but not caramel. You got to yeah. eat. If you look, there's like an apple like goo and there's like yeah. some creamy goo. Yeah. One's the caramel and one's the apple. It's almost split up pie shaped. It comes out. Caramel on two sides, I guess, and apple on two sides. 
It was pretty damn good. That was good. Yeah, good job. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, uh, definitely better than Swedish Fish Oreos. Oh, my God. Well, you know, we had to try it. So, if you're at your... Where'd you find that? I found these at Schnooks. Schnooks. Uh, so, probably it, anywhere. Yeah. Friendly and, story to- in it, town. It was... They had, like... I mean, there was, like, so many different other things. There was a play on... I should have grabbed a couple of things, but... All the different... Apple spice this and caramel apple yeah. that. No, those are you. Little depth, but you picked there. the right one. That's for damn sure. That's good. Those well, are, hey, if you'd like another, awesome. have have at it. Help yourself. Well, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I'll Here. finish that box off. Speaking of food, though, going back to it while we're at it, um, I heard this story on the radio on the way down. There's this. Um, it's it's like a a chip challenge and it's um a chip that's got greg all over it that w- yeah i know and then it Potato? Rem- reminded me of it whenever he was talking about his ghostbusters um uh, ghost pepper but this is a um a ca- it's called the carolina reaper and it's a single chip you can buy it um for five dollars 4.99 it's a single chip and it's supposed to be made of the hottest chip uh, or the, I'm sorry, the hottest pepper available. Oh, Cal- Cal- ah, Carolina Reaper. Okay, that's the hottest pepper. Hottest pepper. I thought the ghost pepper was the hottest pepper. It's supposed to be 200 times hotter than a jalapeno. Wow. And if you can eat this one chip, I mean, there's not only you get anything for it, but they're saying that it's, I guess, nearly impossible to eat this one chip. Huh. Nearly impossible. My luck, I'd get it, and it'd be all crunched. It'd be <laughs> dust. It's 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 in a single little packet. It looks like almost yeah. looks like a tea bag. Oh, I'm right. s- I'm look. We're looking at it right now. It. Well, there's one in in like a coffin shape too. Yeah. Oh, it's locked up. There's yeah, probably an ad about to pop up. So let's see. Um. They say that you should um, definitely try it with extreme caution. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, hmm. Carolina oh, that Reaper's was Madness, Deadly Heat, the One Chip Challenge. Yeah. Wow. I got the caramel that time. <laughs> Caramel's in the middle. That's crazy. That, so what? what is the too. point? Do you... Uh, oh, look, there's Hillary. Yeah, there was Hillary. So if you eat that chip, does... you? I mean, shit fire for a week. There, there's no, like... That's about it. You're like, okay. Uh, it's kind of a social media type thing, oh, okay. like, um, like a challenge. <clears throat> Man, I do it. I don't know that I'd even try it. No, I know. I was going to ask you guys. I eat too hot of chicken wings. I get the hiccups. <laughs> hiccups, really? Yeah, it's it's a natural response by your body to get the hiccups. From really? It. Yeah. Uh, sure. Hmm. Yeah, it's a natural response. The uh, what's that craft brewery on St. Charles Main Street Trailhead? They're they're they've got an appetizer. It's like stuffed jalapenos. I get the hiccups every time I eat those damn things because hmm. they're so hot. I haven't had the hiccups since I was like ten years old. I had them yesterday. That's weird. Yeah, I don't get the hiccups. Do you guys want to talk about uh, sports a little bit uh, nah. more? We already because I had one funny story. Yeah, I let's to share. let's hear your. I want to hear a funny story Greg with an Alabama. So jersey. well, and yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're tied. You, you had on here, and oh, we're you were giving and, me more beer. We were just complaining. Do you about see this. who took a full glass there? Oh, this is my second. You guys already had a second. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Yeah. No, it's all right. I thought you had a second. You really? All right, me. I'm hogging the beer. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to the Cardinals game, and I won these tickets, and um, I was pretty excited to go, and I realized I, I think I won them. Um, probably sometime in like May or June, and whenever I looked at the schedule, I was like, "Oh, there's a bobblehead night," and I saw the name, um, the name on the, the of the bobblehead, and I, I thought it was like maybe just like an old time player or something. I didn't recognize the name. Uh, I just glanced at it. So we go to the game. We have really good seats, you know, and everything. And uh, we get we walk in and we get this uh, this bobblehead, and didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to it, and just walk, you know find our way to our seats. And I look at it, and uh, it's Eddie Goodell. You guys familiar with that name? No, I'm not. Um, shortest player in Major League Baseball history. Really? really? That's why they had it? Uh, I don't know if you ever heard this story. Who but did he play for? He played for the St. Louis Browns. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it was like uh, Negro League 
week or something, wasn't it? Uh, this was this was like a really oddball like promotional thing that they tried to do to like it was back in the uh let's see oh my gosh i'm looking at pictures of them yeah it was back in 1951 three seven wow wow he uh he had one plate appearance uh and he walked it was three seven he walked on four straight pitches i got a picture up there now that i mean i guess that's all i could find and as as I was reading it, I was like, oh, I remember seeing this somewhere. I don't know, maybe it was like a uh, you know some his, historic book or magazine or something that talked about things uh, you know in baseball from the past. But they 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 brought this guy in, and it was just kind of like almost a joke type thing. Um, it was more, I guess, around that time they were just trying to bring in more fans and things like that. But it wasn't you wouldn't see anything like that now. No. It's almost like uh, how old was he? He was. Uh, he died when he was thirty six. Um, but so he it, he couldn't have been. So he probably had some medical condition. But it's almost like um, like a circus bringing in right. a uh, yeah. you know yeah a little person or whatever. So was it, did he really have one eighth on the back of his jersey? Yeah, and the interesting thing about his jersey was that um. It was the at the time it was Bill DeWitt, who is the Cardinals president and chairman mm-hmm. now. He was the bad boy of the St. Louis Browns back in the 1950s. Wow! And it was his jersey because he was like eight years old or whatever, right? Or maybe younger. I don't know. But it was his jersey that they. I, th- I don't know if he was number eight or number one, but they put the one eighth. Uh, you know, they they added to his jersey. But it was his jersey that this guy wore. That's weird. Wow. And did they walk him intentionally? No, no it was. Four I mean, straight pitches. obviously the strike zone for someone that short. Yeah, you can see in that picture there. I mean, the <laughs> there has to be the strike yeah. zone is only like about less well, than a foot. Well, the catcher kneeling is taller than him. Yeah. You wow, know? that's crazy. I I mean. Yeah, I, I kind of don't know what to think of this. <laughs> Why would the Cardinals bring up such a like a weird past item? Because it's almost like, I mean, you know, you you can't make fun of little people. No, and know? I don't think they were. I think it's just ma- just kind of uh, you know recognizing the past and and you know bringing That's bringing bizarre. that back. But they had uh, this bobblehead is it's 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 got a small body and obviously just like a regular size head. But um, and it's in that I think it's in that uh, batter's pose that you just had up there. Pose here. Yeah, it looks it looks similar to that, and the bat's kind of going back, uh, straight hmm. back off his shoulder like that. Yeah, that's he, weird. He looks he looks like a little kid. I well, mean, yeah, yeah, he does. The sad thing is, is, you said that he had a medical condition or something, but I was reading on Wikipedia that it says that he actually um, he was when he was 36 he was he was from chicago and he was walking home and um he was attacked in like an alley and yeah, beaten. typical chicago uh, yeah, yeah. Chicago. and he went home and he died in his sleep that night wow yeah at, at age 36 guess internal injuries huh yeah but he um yeah he was kind of like a i don't know he did some other things he um he was the uh, like a spokesman for different companies and things like that so he had a he had a career in acting and you know hmm. just different things but I thought that was I thought it was odd though because like I said I went expecting to get this bobblehead of some guy maybe yeah. like a, some some Hall of Famer you heard of never, well or maybe that like wow I mean it's a piece of history maybe it's the 1800s or something like yeah. that and uh, and I get this and I'm looking at reading the back of it I'm like oh I, I remembered hearing that story but I was just kind of in shock that uh, they made a bobblehead of, of him so I thought it was kind of cool yeah and forty five thousand of them yeah, yeah and the funny thing what the weird thing was too is. A lot of people walking out. I didn't see them having the box in their hands. Oh, huh. so you could have found some extras under the seat, maybe, or they just chose not to pick them up. I don't know. Hmm. That was strange. But we parked in that uh, ballpark village, and we were on the uh, the side not facing the stadium. And they've really done that up really nice now. There's like a whole uh, lower level there where it's like uh, I don't know if you guys have been there, but there's like the fudge fudgery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there and everything? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a really nice place, that if ballpark you, village. If you ever go out, a uh, good place to go before the game is Flying Saucer. It's within yeah, walking Flying Saucer. Di- it's like a block but it's or two blocks away from – It's you know where the San Musial statue yeah. is? It's 
right down the road okay. in front of it. By the west end. Yeah. Okay. It's literally like one, two blocks down the street. I, yeah. That place that is That whole awesome. area around Bush Stadium is really nice, I think. Might get shot, but yeah, it's nice. Well, come on. I'm trying to be hey, a good spokesman for our city here. Speaking of <coughs> getting shot or whatever, uh, did you get a call from the FBI? No, this is a whole other story that we don't have time. We've only we don't have, have time? Minutes. No, but I, I, we can talk about this next episode. A friend of mine uh, received a call from the FBI. Some of their private data for their customer base was breached in a cybersecurity breach. And uh, I have a good chunk of the story to share, and it is an absolutely frightening story. Wow. So stay tuned for next week. You it's know. a teaser. Yeah. Teaser. It is a teaser. Hopefully you made it this far to get that teaser. <laughs> so, um, you know, join us here every week. When you're not in Florida. When I'm not in Florida. Every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central. I'm sad that we're done. You're sad? You, you were really out? looking forward to this week. I was. Yeah. I was. We can this shoot a, a beer time. 30 or something. Oh, okay. Man, you know? Why not? So anyway, uh, <laughs> there is another drink for me. <laughs> anyway find yeah. us on itunes stitcher google play all the podcasting places uh go to beer30.tv to find all the information and we will see you next time see ya.